like to begin my remarks by uh, thanking Senator Gretchen, Gretchen Whitmer for her kind words. And I'd like to thank you individually and as a whole for the tremendous honor you presented to my sister, myself, and my family this morning with the amendment to add my name to the uh, license plate bill on behalf of those seeking organ donations and particularly those that donate life-saving gifts across our state. When I first met the Gift of Life, <clears throat> the Gift of Life and the National Kidney Foundation, they deserve all the credit. 100% of the credit belongs to those organizations that sought this plate for so many years. And as we all know, they do most of the work on our legislative action. So I want to thank them for finding this important. I remember when I first came down to Lansing 10 years ago, and we actually met in the Radisson Hotel, and we wondered, we were wondering if we would ever get a million names on the organ donation registry here in Michigan. We were the absolute worst state in regard to organ donation. But working with many of you in this same chamber, but at the other end of the building, we passed some pretty important legislation that really advanced the cause. It's quite ironic how different events happen in concurrent fashion. But Senator Beda today offered a resolution on behalf of all those that gave their life. The first bill that I introduced when I came to, to Lansing was that you, your family couldn't veto your decision to donate your organs if you wanted to do that upon your death. We passed that bill out of the House on April 8th of 2003. It was my first bill passed. When I left the House chambers and I walked across the lawn to my office, I was given a phone to talk to my wife. And on April 3rd, that same day, I was notified that our nephew was killed in Iraq. So here we meet once again upon a reminder of what happened half a globe away in our work here in Lansing on behalf of the citizens of our state. But in regard to the legislation, I think we have a lot to be proud of as senators and legislators on both ends of this building. Mr. Lieutenant Governor, you were part of that effort as well. When you were in the House, you were a signatory and a voter on behalf of organ donation. So most of us have taken an important step in this effort. But now, because of what we've done legislatively, and it didn't matter whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, whether you're black or white, rich or poor, but now we are approaching, now we're approaching two million names on that registry because of what we've done to prevent those from vetoing our decision, the license plate, show us your heart license plate, the effort for the Uniform Anatomical Gift Act. So we've done quite well as a state. And I want to thank each and every one of you. This does mean an awful lot to me. This is one of the most important efforts for me personally, because I'd been to other states that had the license plates, and I wondered before I took office, I wondered before I took office if we'd ever have one. So this is not, uh, even though there's a singular name on it, and I'm very humble and I'm very grateful for that, this has not been a singular effort. This has been quite a, quite a, a concerted effort on behalf of many. I just want to leave this remark. None of us know what life holds for us. None of us know who we can help and who can help us. But many of us that went into office about 10 years ago, if you remember the day that we were sworn into office, our formal swearing in ceremony over, and we were met that morning by the death of one of our fellow representatives who had died that morning on his treadmill at home. So it kind of shows how fragile and sensitive our lives are. So I want to thank you, each and every one of you, for finding the graciousness in your heart to offer my name on that legislation. So God bless each and every one of you, and thank you for the great honor this morning. Thank you.